Rome. It wasn't built in a day, but it can be explored in one. Now come along with Rachel, Chris, and Travis as they do their best to experience the wonders of Rome. with an overnight ferry ride to Civita Vecchia from Obia thanks to information tickets and travel there you can get a nice meal and hit the rack and before you know it you're in Civita Vecchia where you can catch the train to Termini station in the heart of Rome there's plenty of hotels to choose from a good guidebook from the Navy Exchange may be helpful but it's not really necessary This is, that's that's about how I feel great time. right there. I had the most fantastic Chris had time. The best time. He was the ladies' man. Yeah. And his legs. He was something. the ladies' man. Yeah. The 18-year-olds uh, from Germany love me. We uh, sat with some guys that were playing guitar for a while, and they were really nice. And we sang very loudly and out of key. And we had a great time. Oh, yeah. Uh, went to Spanish Steps last night. I promptly fell down them though because of the game of thumb. That was fun though. That was cool. But uh, I also say I fell down the Spanish Steps. I think everyone fell down the steps. I, I found a bruise on my leg this morning that I think was from the steps. But uh, it was worth it. Ourselves forced to enlist in the Spanish Navy. It's true. I learned it on television. the Spanish Steps. I have a cone of roast chestnuts. They're delicious. Anyway, in this episode of Zine, we're going to show you around the neighboring city of Rome. Roma. It's really a fantastic place. Lots of things to see and, and chestnuts to eat. Chestnuts are good. <laughs> No trip to Rome would be complete without a tour of the Colosseum. You can bypass the line and have your own tour guide for about 30 euro per person, which is money well spent considering the line can take more than two hours to navigate. And of course, words can hardly express the magnificence of the Vatican.
really been an unbelievable experience. Uh, never in all my years have I imagined that I'd ever see anything so incredible, so beautiful. It really makes uh, life worth living, I'd say. If uh, I hadn't seen this, I probably would have died a little less happy. So I can look forward to death now. I don't even know what to say about it because it was absolutely incredible. More than anything I would have ever expected. I seriously think we could probably spend at least two months inside of there and the uh, libraries and just the museums and everything, looking at every little piece of things. The uh, craftsmanship of, of the, I mean, you see it in books, you see the, uh, the sculpture, you know, the sculpture work, the statuary, the, the painting, you, you, you see it in books, like, you know, look at it, like, prints of it up close, look at the technique behind it, but when you actually see it in real life, it's just... So if you have a three-day weekend and you're looking for something to do, call up ITT and schedule yourself a once-in-a-lifetime experience today.